right, this is gonna be a quick video. It should be under five minutes. But this goes out to black people. This video goes out to black people that are in positions of support of real or supposed power. You know, once you get that position, try not to be a fucking idiot about it. Um, I am here in, in a suit because I just came back from court. And I had a traffic, uh, two traffic tickets that I was trying to fight. Now, a little backstory on that. I got pulled over by this cop because two things. Number one, I did not go, according to the laws, a reasonable and prudent speed while passing an emergency vehicle. Uh, the second one was I failed to make an adjacent lane change. Um, yeah, basically I, I failed to move over. Okay. And both of them were $110 each. All right, fine. So fast forward, here it is, I'm in court now, and we have this black judge. Now, I looked at him and I could just tell, okay, from what the bailiff said about him, possibly giving you jail time just because your phone went off to the way he was talking tells me that he's one of these kind of black people that they get a little bit of power and they first of all they're going to bow down and bow out to anybody that's not black especially white people but when it comes to black people they have a slight glare in their eye as though to say nah. i mean you know what i mean so certain black people you all know what i'm what i'm talking about so I'm there in court and I tackle the first one, which was this reasonable and prudent speed. Now, it had stopped raining the night that I got pulled over. This officer was dealing with some other person. The speed limit was 40 going south on 355, okay? I was going 39 when I saw the cop and I slowed down to 32 as I was passing, 32, 33. The cop even admitted, yo, he was going uh, roughly about 40, which was actually not the case. I was going 40 when I saw him, which was far away. I had asked the cop, what speed was I going at exactly? And he just gave me some hand-waving answer, telling me that he honestly didn't know. He was just guessing. All right. I try to tell that to the judge now. And, you know, I'm sorry if I don't talk hood or street or like an imbecile or something, but I throw out a math formula there. I said, okay, I was going 32 in a 40 down from 39 in a 40, and that was not reasonable and prudent enough for him, the officer. So then I said to the judge, reasonable is a completely subjective term, is a 100% subjective term. I thought I was going reasonable, he thought I wasn't. So then what exactly is reasonable? I mean, give me a formula. Reasonable and prudent speed equals speed limit minus X. And apparently, I guess he might have taken offense to that, that maybe somebody with a bit of intelligence happens to pass by him. So he basically like, okay, so you really want to go that route? I love these nerds. They're like, I love these nerds. I was about to go off on him on that, but I'm trying to fight tickets here. I love these nerds. I could do this all day. And he goes off and starts saying all this stuff. Ultimately, this imbecile ends up saying two. All right, X, X would be two. And he's saying this as though he made some salient point. And I'm just thinking to myself, I can see now why you became a judge because you obviously don't have enough intelligence to be like an engineer or something. So apparently to this man, 40 minus X, which he says is two, is how fast I should have been going. I will remind you, I was going 39 in a 40 when I saw him when I saw the police officer off in the distance with somebody and I slowed down to 32, 33 when I passed him. But yet, according to this judge who was trying to, I guess, maybe make me seem like I'm not as smart as I think I am or as he would like to think that I think I am, X equals two, meaning 40 miles an hour minus two miles an hour is how fast I should have been going. It's really sad. And the fact that I guess nobody else probably caught that, you know, really tells me of the intelligence in that entire place. Because as far as I'm concerned, everybody should have been laughing at him, cops included, right? Now, the other one, the lane change, okay, I can understand that. However, <clears throat> I can understand that, sorry. <clears throat> I can understand that. However, if anybody's been through driving school, which is probably most people, 
you can position your car in three positions in any lane. The middle of the lane, the right side of the lane, the left side of the lane. The officer with the stopped car was in the right, I mean, there wasn't any shoulder, so it was the right side of the right lane. I was on the left side of the middle lane. Yes, physically it was not a full lane over, but effectively there was enough space, right? And then he tries to give me some, so, some analogy of, if I go to a restaurant and I say the glass is clean, but I see a speck on it, is it, or, or some, some shit, like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, this man is trying really fucking hard, and I'm wondering if people are honestly believing this idiot just because he's a judge, right? <laughs> I'm really wondering that. So, you know, I just let him have his little moral superiority. Maybe he, maybe this is how, you know, he gets off or something. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. As long as I either get this shit thrown out or get it reduced or whatever. But, you know, this goes to black people. When you get into some some position of real or supposed power don't let that shit go to your fucking head don't go thinking that you're smarter than somebody else who's just honestly trying to the only way they can i mean i'm not trying to sound smart i just sound normal i mean that's how i normally talk you know and apparently maybe his intelligence felt threatened or some shit like that i mean if anybody doesn't know who peter joseph is look him up and look how he talks I can talk, I can easily talk about half of how he talks, okay? So if I really wanted to make anybody feel dumb, I easily could, right? I didn't. Black people, for fuck's sake, when you get a little bit of real or supposed power, do not let that shit go to your head, especially when you're dealing with other black people. Well, no, no, well, not especially, but... No, yeah, 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 especially when you're dealing with other black people, because I noticed that with these kind of black people that want to basically act like they're better than other blacks, they don't do that with anybody else, especially white. So that's why I say especially black people, not because you should give black people preferential treatment, but because these types generally tend to smile and have their teeth showing when it comes to white or just non-black company. But when it comes to black people, they have this sinister look in their eyes like, oh, who, uh, who the fuck are you, nigga? And like, you know, it's, it's, it's just really fucking sad. So, long story short, I managed to get this thing knocked from $210 down to 100 and whatever the fuck that was, 110 or whatever the hell it was. And two things, the last two things that really pissed me off and made me almost go off on him and say, you know what, fuck it, it's worth the 210 just to show him up. One, the cop that stopped me came so far down into my back that I couldn't even see his headlights. And this was before, before he turned on his flashers. So I don't know what the hell this man was doing. You know, I mean, I'm like, okay, should I go over or what? What the hell is he doing? He finally turned his flashers on. If somebody is so far down into your back going at 30 whatever miles an hour that you can't see their headlights, if you need to slam your brakes for whatever reason, somebody cuts you off or whatever, they are guaranteed to hit you. I don't care how good your tires and your brakes are. Apparently the judge didn't seem to care about this. He only cared that, well, you know what? I can understand why he's mad because you didn't go over and do you know why that law is there? And he tries to tell me this, 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 this bull. Well, okay, I can understand why the law is there, but he's there basically trying to tell me that this cop was justified in risking my life and potentially his life because I supposedly didn't, didn't uh, think about his life. I guess that's effectively what he was saying. It's pretty fucking sad. So that cop has the right to sit here and threaten my life and his life and who knows how many other people because he's mad. But I, going about my business, apparently was a threat to him because I didn't move over even though there was effectively, if not literally, a lane or at least half a lane if not a full lane of space between the two of us it's fucking sad you know it's really sad black people you when you get into positions of power you really got to stop letting that shit go to your head you really do you really do anyway that's it <laughs>